Hello everyone, welcome to the first part of my video series for my new Beetleweight Combat Robot build, Psychotic Break. In this video, I'm going to cover the introduction to the whole project, give an overview of the actual build itself, and then also talk about some design goals and all the steps I'm going to take throughout the whole process. So let's get started with Psychotic Break. This is a video series that has been requested for several years and I'm finally getting around to doing it. Most of the time when I do these kind of build videos, I've already kind of had a really good idea of what I'm gonna do and I'm kind of filming things after the fact. You know, I just kind of film it in pieces, break it up between drive, weapons, electronics, things like that. This video series is gonna be a little bit different because right now, I just have a couple templates and a couple spare parts and I am going through the entirety of the design process. What I want to do in this video is show you everything that I do personally when I go through and design a combat robot from start to finish, you know, from the sketches in the notebook all the way to the competition. So what I want to do is create a lot of um, shorter videos. They might be a little bit less edited than my normal videos. That's going to be pretty difficult for me. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to leave in a lot more of the extra stuff like this. But ultimately what I want to do is kind of limit these videos to maybe five or 10 minutes max and focus on very specific particular aspects of the build, not just the um, bigger, broader general stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the goal for this project. So let's first look at the goals for the robot itself. I've built several Beetleweight combat robots over the years. I started with um, Kamikaze, then moved on to, let's see, what was the next one after that? Anxiety Attack, and then Long Long Man. I guess that's the only three I've done. And none of them were really all that spectacular. Um, Kamikaze was kind of a um, two weekend build that was um, right before a competition. I just kind of threw something together. Uh, Long Long Man was pretty much the same way. And Anxiety Attack kind of uh, took a weird path and went down some other path and it ended up becoming something different than what I had originally intended. And so what I want to do for this build and for Psychotic Break specifically is I want to build something that's actually competitive. With Kamikaze it was really, I mean the name says it all, it was just meant to be a one hit. It was an exercise in how big of a weapon could you fit into a beetle weight. I think it was a 2.1 pound weapon in a 3 pound box, which was insanity. But you know, it, it worked, it fit into a three pound weight limit. And Anxiety Attack was kind of an offshoot of that to see, okay, can I take something like Kamikaze and actually make it spin up quicker and actually make it work? It didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. And then Long Long Man was just kind of fun. So I'm kind of pushing all those aside and the idea for this and the goal for Psychotic Break is to make a robot that will actually perform well, maybe win some competitions, maybe win some fights and be a really decent bot. In addition to that goal, I'd also like to, you know, do a lot more teaching. I'd like to show a lot more of the design process. So the actual video series in and of itself is one of the design goals or one of the goals for this is I want to show just kind of start from finish. How do you do all these things? So this project's going to include a lot of various things like, um, you know, machining, 3D printing, um, I'm gonna have metal parts, I'm gonna have plastic parts. Um, I'm also gonna be modifying this weapon, maybe. Um, at the very least, I probably have to open up the bore in the middle. So I might show you a little bit about what it takes to modify a hardened S7 weapon. Um, I might do some water jet, I might do some laser cutting, you know, we'll see. But um, right now, I don't know what all is going to be entailed in this project but this is going to be kind of a cost no object, just throw everything at it and just make the best possible beetle weights that I can do. So there might be a lot of little tips and tricks along the way. In addition to all of that, um, I wanna talk a little bit about my process. I've been talking with a lot of people at events over the years, and um, some people do a lot of planning, some people do a lot of math, um, you know, some people are more like the CNC crowd, and some people just kind of grab stuff and start going. I am definitely more organized, and I plan things out, and 
I think maybe this video series will show just how much kind of planning and prototyping I do before I even start making a single piece. And so I kind of want to show you that process that at least I go through. It might not be the right way for you, um, but at least it gives you an insight into how I do things. Um, I do a lot of spreadsheets, I do a lot of researching, and I do a lot kind of on paper before I ever, really ever start building stuff. So. The next part of this video series will actually be just weights. It's just gonna be simply figuring out if the design is going to work based on weights alone. This is gonna be, I guess what I call a highly optimized robot. Like everything's gonna be very optimized. I'm probably only gonna have, you know, 10 grams worth left over. And I'm going to be looking at every single little part and optimizing it. I might even be, you know, shaving down the gearboxes and all sorts of crazy stuff. So. This gives you an insight into kind of what it takes to start a new build and a first robot to wrap your head around it and see if it's even going to work. So here you go. Here is my general plan right now for Psychotic Break. I'm gonna do basically like a tombstone clone, um, you know, horizontal mid cutter types thing and I'm hoping on using the weapon bar from Anxiety Attack. Now, this weapon bar from Anxiety Attack is pretty massive for a beetle. It's about 12 and a half inches, and it's just under a pound, and it is hardened S7. I might not be able to fit the motor, the weapon, and the massive ESC that is needed to drive this whole thing. Um, I was depleting the battery pretty quickly as well, so this might be a little bit too big, but that is um, the next part of this project, is I gotta figure out the weight on everything and kinda get a sanity check and see if it all works. But this is the general idea for right now. And um, everything here might change. I might use a different motor, I might use different wheels, different battery. I might end up scrapping this completely, who knows? But this is the general concept of what Psychotic Break is going to hopefully end up like, is a really, actually quite massive um, mid-cutter. And um, I think from here to here is about 18 inches. So this is going to be a very, large beetle, um, which is very different for me. Most of the time I create very compact bots, um, so to create something a lot bigger is gonna be, you know, a bit of a challenge. Uh, so let's see, wheels and drivetrain. Right now I plan on using my typical beetle drivetrain that I used in Anxiety Attack and Long Long Man. I have the whole um, tutorial video on that if you wanna check out more. The battery system, I'm going to stick with a 4S, one amp hour um, battery system, and I'm hopefully gonna switch or stick with these uh, motors that I was using in Anxiety Attack. We will see. For the top and bottom pieces, um, this is just a very rough cutout. Uh, what I did is I figured out the weapon distance here, and then I kind of figured the absolute minimum amount of room that I needed to fit in the electronics. So this geometry might change a lot. This was just kind of a general mock-up to give an idea of what it might look like. So it might look something like this. But for the top and the bottom plate, I'm looking at carbon fiber, titanium, or aluminum. So we're gonna see how the weight kind of shakes out with that. I might have to make this a little bit wider, maybe longer, who knows? We'll see how that ends up. And then for the actual body of the bot, I think I'm going to do uh, the nylon X or nylon G, some sort of 3D printed nylon thing, and the whole thing will kind of be sandwiched in. And then up here, I'm going to do a belt drive, of course, and do some kind of plastic pulley system, I think, and then do a, um, what do they call those, needle bearing inside here with a dead shaft. I'll probably do like a titanium shaft in here and have the whole thing spin around the dead shaft that goes back to there. So that's kind of the general idea of what the bot's gonna look like right now. So that's really all I have for this video. The next step is to kind of get a proof of concept going. So the next thing that I always do is I start out with the weights. I kind of get a rough idea of what each one of these things weighs, 
put it together in the spreadsheet, put some kind of assumptions in there and see if this is even possible. That's going to be the next step. Then I'm going to move on to calculating the drivetrain stuff. You know, how fast is this thing to need to go? Does all that look good? And then I'll move on to the weapon calculations. And then I usually start designing the weapon system and the drive system separately. Then I'm probably going to design the body, then design the top and bottom, and then, you know, at some point start fabricating or prototyping some parts. So that is kind of the rough outline. But there's going to be a lot of little tangents that I'm going to run into throughout this process. I foresee uh, maybe a couple dozen videos out of this, just a lot of little steps, so we will see. This is already the third version of Psychotic Break, and I haven't even made anything yet, so we will see. Um, but anyway, as always, thanks for watching. This might be a good time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because there's going to be a lot of content coming out here. And also, if you're a new combat robot builder, check the link down below. I have kind of a nice little getting started guide. And check my Facebook page for any updates, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.